Yeah, I think the uh, team up in our both had to buy them an awful lot of treats for the Whoa. staff room. Uh, Peter Wright will be here. Peter Wright is back in form. Is Peter Wright back back? Is he just a bit back? Is he fully back? Oh, Alan Suter. Don't get much better than that as a setup shot. Choices here. He's double 16. It worked for him in leg one and it worked for him in leg two. Lovely stuff so far from Jim Williams, and this is what he can do. What we want to see more of. Here we go. First 180 of the evening, and it's produced by Alan Souter. Not a particularly good shot from Jim Williams, so Alan Souter. It's treble 17. He wants the bullseye. Drags it low. 128. Oh, hello. Double top for a 160. Jim Williams, that's a special shot. Alan Souter misses the ball for a 161. Jim Williams Did takes out a Alan shot almost as difficult. Yeah, we'll show you this camera angle when Dimitri plays Andrew Gildin later tonight. 96. There's none of that. They are just rooted to the floor. Sensible play from Jim because even a 25 would have left a two darter. There's Miles in front and Alan Suter needs something big here. Well, that's a big five. It's not the big that he wanted. Oh, a treble five as well. 77. Jimmy requires 75. Tons of room to work with. Jim Williams wants tops. You wouldn't expect anything different the way he's been finishing. Absolute demon on the outer ring tonight. Eighty-five. I love his choice of doubles when he returns, and when you've only missed one dart at double in the entire match, you're expecting to get the job done, and it could be yet another five visit leg. to win six Euro out of seven legs one. all in five visits to the board and book his place in round two double 16 jim williams well that's going to spoil the sort of neatness of the stats but i don't think it's going to change the result of the game Jimmy required 24. Double 12 for Jim Williams. Got now to finish. Alan Suter is going to come back. It's still Alan a big ass. How often do you see it? Closing out a game is so difficult to do. To extend the contest. Suits wants double 10. 100. 20. Well, he's known, particularly at the World Championship, for Jimmy winning Moore games with 12. massive finishes. That would have been to save the game. Couldn't produce it. Jim Williams gets the job done. And, and despite Jim taking Williams. a fair few darts to get it won, that is one of the best displays we have ever seen from Jim Williams on the European Tour. For Scott Williams, you'd feel... 140. It is just about ending the year preparing for the big tournaments he is going to be in in the perfect fashion picking up titles 119 yep he's got something that luke woodhouse doesn't have yet and that is a senior pdc title and he very impressively did that without even having a tour card this could be an impressive 11 data 12 will do with luke being on a bogey number it is a 12 dart start you require 161. 
and he missed the ball for a massive combination in the previous leg. He doesn't have to entertain the prospect of the bullseye, and he's not going to get that chance as well. That's a very loose start. Trims off the one, but it's such a bad dart, it's almost blocked his route through to treble 20. Well, he'll take that after the first dart. I'm almost waiting for the no look 180. He just wants to do it at every opportunity, doesn't he? Be one dart at tops. You can see them to move right over. Doesn't like how that dart is sticking up. But he manages to find a way through anyway to level this one up. First 180 of the game for Luke Woodhouse. Oh, there's the no look 180. Anything you can do, I can literally do better because a no look 180 is better than a regulation one. Luke Woodhouse chomps his flight because he's done the darting cardinal sin and missed the big number. You love to see it. And he loves to do it. But he's not getting near that bull at the moment, is he? It's causing quite a bit of frustration, allowing Woody back to tidy it up a 13 dart leg. They have broken in leg number seven, but if he doesn't hold, you know the rest. Scott, you require 107. He'll be even more annoyed with that last visit now, Luke Woodhouse, because he's not in a position 52. to punish Scott Williams. I've been happy to see him only chip 52 points off the 170. It's a shame he didn't hit the two treble 20s, because he would have gone for it. Even with Woodhouse not on a finish. Double 20. We've left double 19. 49. Well, he was going for treble 14 to leave double 18. He's made a right pig's ear of it. So Luke Woodhouse to step in. Probably go 13 for double 16. Luke Woodhouse is one leg away from what could be an incredibly valuable victory. But Scott not done in this one, and he is first down to a finish. Would have the throw if it goes to a decider. And Luke has made an absolute mess of that. Well, he has got down to a finish. I think he's just checking if Woodhouse is actually on a finish because it was such a dreadful visit. Ooh, cheeky boy score. You're not going to take out 164, Luke, even though you've already hit the ball to win a leg. Scott Williams was correct in his assessment. Yeah, I'm always amazed when Scott does that because I think if he's on a 161, he's going to want to take it out. He's going to want to be a showman. But he's not taken this one to a decider just yet. Could they be the last three darts he throws in this one? He said, Luke, you're not going to take out the 164. He was correct. But he may take care of this 118. to shift over can't find the treble 94 it's going to require 10 well a couple of very ropey setup shots could cost Luke Woodhouse dearly Scott Williams opts to split 
We get one more chance at double four and he spurns that chance. And the win is in sight for Luke Woodhouse. Luke, you require 24. Well, the setup play hasn't been particularly pretty in this leg, but Luke Woodhouse. Getting further away. 12. Thank well, you. he's had his opportunities. Scott, you require four. He's trying to take that. Double two is pinned. Scott Williams for the second consecutive leg wins it on double two. Really feel the tension with every dart thrown. Matching each other pretty much blow for blow, but Scott Williams. Well, he's getting closer to hitting the ball, isn't he? But again, not quite able to. Does he go tops, tops? That was the intention. 91. That might be that. Scott Williams wants 25. Misses the big number by quite a distance. Yeah. Could be five for double eight, could be one for double six. It's the latter. And Scott Williams leads double one. He's won the last two legs on double two. He's going even lower. 40. Well, this match has had so much quality in it, but it is a really edgy, nervy ending. Can he use that first dart? Does it start getting tricky? No score. Three more match darts missed for Woodhouse, and surely, surely that is finally that. Scott, you require two. Incredible. Maybe two up, one in. He does get it in. Scott Williams. Magical things happened in Budapest last year. And they might just be happening again in 2024. Luke Woodhouse will feel like he's been pickpocketed because he had the game in the palm of his hands. But three really scruffy legs all went to Shaggy, who couldn't help but hide his delight. Scott Williams, a 6-5 winner against Luke Woodhouse. Doing more than enough in the early stages against Dirk van Dijvenbode, who's just not really firing on all cylinders at the moment. One hundred. Gabriel requires seventy-six. He's looking for the single, he's got the double, so that's okay. Double 12. 52. Forward to miss that one. Look already getting annoyed. Despite being outscored, especially him bringing the heavy artillery to bear. It's the German giant who's doing that at the start of this game. Double six for a 2 0 lead. Game on the second leg. Good stuff from Germany. Deadline, Germany's deadline, number two. If he can continue this form. Oh, 131. This is very good, isn't it, from Gabriel Clemens at the moment. Oh, Gabriel, you 130. All frustration right now for Dirk van Dijvenbode. Gabriel Clemens. Double five. Good. How about this Good. from the German giant? What a start. 15 darts, a 14 darts, a 12 darts. Okay. Dirk van Dijvenbode doesn't have an answer. Fifty-three. Two. I really want 110. One treble combo for 5 1. 
Double top. Nine. One dart miss for a 5 1 lead. Dirt van Dijvenbode, a creative use of the ball to leave a two darter. Not particularly nice two darter. It's one where he can't find the double 19 that he wanted again. I really require 20. Well, he's lucky not to bust yeah, that with his first like start. Everyone. Finds double turn with his next one. It's 5 1. Game. And a deserved big lead for Gabriel Clement. Gabriel 139. Very difficult shot, this. Too difficult on this occasion. And Dirk van Dijvenbode is going to get a chance to take out the 54. He has only had four darts at double 59. in this entire match. Going to add to that tally here. Will he add to his legs tally? Double ten. No, he does not, and that might be that for Dirk van Dijvenbode. One dart at tops for Gabriel Clemens to get the job done, and that is exactly what he does. It's a comprehensive victory for the German over Dirk van Dijvenbode. Clemens has now won three of their last four meetings. He's scoring far superior throughout that entire contest. His finishing pretty impressive too, and he is through to round two. He's always got a big legion of fans, Nathan Aspinall, so they won't be too pleased if Ritarski lands 130. Tried to sack it on top of the first dart. 58. Great to set up, and this would be greeted with a celebration, I imagine, if he gets 152. We'll never know. Double 12. For double 18. 36 for 36. Looks a bit awkward, that. Oh, oh, snakes it in the corner. The Level 18 it's pin good. for a breaker it's throw and a 15 good. dart start Game. for the Polish number one. Second time Ratajski has hit three big trebles without it being a 180. 81. Yeah, important last start there. 108. It's the Shanghai finish. There's some pressure on this. Nine scored, so no good. Second time, he's just been the wrong side of the wire down the bottom section of the board. 48. I think we 120. 120 then for a break of throw. And the third leg on the bounce. To move across because those darts do stick up. Good. Nathan Aspinall on back on the Euro Tour with a bang. Good leg, Nathan going first. Looking to apply maximum pressure. And that's what he does to leave 61. But Christoph Matajski in double 16, usually a match made in heaven. Double eight, normally just as good. Six, Big two. opportunity miss for Ratajski. And, and this to break back after being pretty much nowhere in this leg. Where's the danger? Leaves 11. Double four. Re-establish the two-leg gap. 57. Very nearly Chris pinched that leg away from 16. Ratajski, having been way, way back. Getting tricky. Mm -hmm. Oh, and once Score. again, three darts just Maybe on the outside, trying to work his way closer in. Double two then. And Nathan Aspinall has pinched that.
A bit of darting daylight robbery. Yeah, he always seem to run out of steam in the final days of them. Did manage to get to his first final in Munich. We were losing out to Michael Smith. The second 180 from Christoph. He's outscoring Nathan to some tune, but Nathan is far well, better or more clinical on the finishing. But only really because of that one leg where Christoph made a horrible mess. In this corner of the board. Yeah, no such problem Christoph this time. 11 dart Take leg from the Polish the number one. Game. Breaks straight back, throwing to level the game here at four apiece. Doesn't like it. See, it's kicked over a bit. But that's a lovely adjustment. Oh, Whoa! sensational. Eleven data from Ratajski. Nathan Aspinall threatening to hit one straight back at him. Eighty-two. Nathan, you require 88. Could prove to be a really costly dart. Surely going to go 18 or treble. He's the bullseye. And he pins it. Not had any problem with that target so far. Such a good first dart. So he'll be disappointed to only walk away with a ton. Not just a treble 20, it's the way that it's sat up in the treble 20 bed. Yeah, you're collecting those darts in frustration rather than pride that you managed to sneak yeah, one in last know. dart to the treble. But he's got six darts from here anyway. Fifty-six. Well, he's just hit a ball finish, and he might be reduced to one dart at the ball again. I can require ninety for a winning return to the European Tour. Nathan Aspinall wants the bullseye. He sends it wide. This will be required 82. Single 17. One dart at tops. 62. Massive Nathan miss from Christoph Ratajski. Would have been a break and 5-4 and game very much on. As it is, Nathan Aspinall back on the Euro Tour, back from Here's injury, up. and back Nathan winning games. A 6-3 victory for the Asp. Their first ever meeting on the Euro Tour goes against the Polish Eagle, and Nathan Aspinall, with no signs of injury problems, moves through to round two for a familiar pairing with Danny Not. But just not consistently enough. Yeah, he was on the end of a ludicrously good display of finishing from Ryan Serlo at 160, 161 and 164 in that game alone. As the winning dart went in, Joe Cullen's reaction was just to laugh. <laughs> Won't be laughing here if Peter Wright breaks the throw back. And that's what Peter does, sneaks it into the bottom corner. Even though you can see they're all entering the board slightly differently there, it is such a huge improvement on the start of the year where it was such a vast difference, wasn't it? And it was really hindering his game at that point. Nothing hindering his game in that visit. But it was that en angle of entry in the first part of the year. It was really troubling. Nothing troubling about three 180s in three straight legs. Don't hit another one, Peter. Safe as houses.
59. Peter Iroquois, 40. 14 data in the last leg. Could do the same, exactly the same route. Almost the same puncture mark. Oh, it was begging to be followed up. 100. Joey required 98. Disappointing ton, you'd say. Great at it, or split? Well, he has unintentionally split, but big save three leaves double eight. Be expecting to come back, but Peter Wright's three figure outs have been spectacular over recent weeks. Not going to add a 157 here. 100. Joey requires 16. Steps back because he knows that wasn't a very good attempt at double eight. That was much better. Ron Cullen. Shows for the first time in the game, a bit of emotion, a bit of a fist pump. He's doing really well to stay in control of his emotions and not get too frustrated in this one. Well, an 11 darter would really ratchet the pressure up on Cullen. Double 12. Double 6. Okay, Peter yeah, Wright yeah, sends us yeah, all yeah. the way. Peter Wright. Final leg. There's the face of a man Two who doesn't get paid on a leg by leg first. basis. Oh, is he going to set up another potential 11 darter? Of course he is. Is it going to be back to back? 81 checkouts. 28. Peter, you require a snake bite to get over the line. Same target wanted, double 12. Having to shuffle across slightly. But he manages to pin it, Peter Wright, to break Joe Cullen in that decider. He scored the heavier for the majority of that match, but missed out to double at crucial time. Looked like they might punish Snake by Peter Wright, but yet again, just like in Hildesheim, just when he needed it, his timing was there. Peter Wright is through to round two of the Hungarian Dark Trophy. Got him into these tournaments so comfortably this year. 100. Oh, superb from Richie Eddowes there. 162 gets down to a finish, but Raymond's already on one. It's better than the 143. Richie will get a look at. 49. Richie Eddowes, 143. That'll be another three perfect darts. The streak's not going to continue. 60. Raymond, you require 52. Two at double 16 for Raymond Van Barneveld, only needs the one. And he's halfway to victory. 121. Yeah, I mean, he did get a dart at double in one of those legs. He threw it the wrong yeah. double. So it, it will go down as a missed dart at double, but even if he'd hit, it would have been the wrong thing. Maybe it was just a really wayward dart. <laughs> Possibility, I suppose. For which is a more embarrassing option. 96. Raymond, you require 60. Constant with Jason here. Raymond Van Barnevel, double top for 4 1. Game shot the fifth leg. Raymond Von. Nice, comfortable, clean Simba, leg of darts for Raymond Roman. Van Barnevel. 14 darts. You wouldn't say it's a great display. There are candidates. Dimitri versus Gilding, Michael Smith, Clayton. This game could yet improve in terms of the standard. And it could get quite dramatic. 
Nine going to need to improve Richie for Richie Edhouse, starting maybe with this. Not going to. Now, handily, can he leave it? 89, Raymond, you require 76. Double eight. Four. Five two Barney and a reaction there. Unless you count the one where he threw it the wrong double, which it would have been impossible to win. The right player is winning this match, but that doesn't mean that he's going to go on and win it. Because if Ed House could clear 350 points in two visits, and he's more than halfway there, this game could turn. No. Too big an ask. And there have already been some decent mid-range finishes from Raymond Barney Uruguay in this match. 80. Can he add the 80? Two darts at double 10 to wrap this one up. And he manages okay. to get it done with his second and match start. Right. Raymond Van Barneveld, for just the seventh time in 2024, is through to round two on the European Tour. Trebleless visit. He's that 118 conundrum that he couldn't solve. Treble 18. Would have left the bullseye. 56. Dimitri Rigor, 118. Well, Andrew Gilding's thrown 18 darts and has 68 left. It's not been a good leg. But this is a chance for Dimitri. That's a much better guide for the treble 20, which he hits. Double 19. Eight. And he requires 68. His first dart at double. And it's on the end of a treble to single to double combo. Not giving himself chances. Gilding wants double four. Double two. Yeah, Second time he's struck that. Would like to meet you to throw first. One four two. Somebody grinds out a win, and that is exactly what will happen. 137. Good setup from Gilding. Sets up potentially the best leg of the match. However, Jimmy could get that himself. 1 4 2. Jordy got to stay there. And does for double 11. 120. A good yard wide. Andrew, you require 36. Well, you can't say that that wouldn't have been a bolt from the blue. Yeah, I'm sure the a 13 data yeah. itself is pretty spectacular Thank considering what's gone Detroit before. First. He has been a ball of Belgian frustration throughout this match. But this little spell here is his best of the match. If he can make it last a little bit longer, maybe he's got a chance. But he's under pressure now. It's the first 180 from Gilding, the first brandishing of the thumb. It could be the most pointless 180 he's ever hit. Yeah, it doesn't line. quite it's rattle Dimmy. Still alive, just. Belgian number one, a reigning major champion. Man who's won the match play and the UK Open. Oh. Dimitri Vandenberg in recent times has been firmly underneath the golden thumb of Goldfinger. And it doesn't look like he's going to squirm his way out from oh. underneath it tonight. Andrew require 100. Level 19 then. 44. Well, it's a mistake he can afford to make at this stage. Dimmy's hit 12 darts and pretty much halved the score. Needs a treble to leave any sort of finish. Sit. And you want 56. Well, this to wrap it up. <laughs> He's missed a big number. 
He's nearly missed another one. Match start, double top. Seven My team. word. As visits go, that was ropey. As visits go, it could have been better. Every dart missed its intended target by a long way. How confident is Gilding going to be stepping up to hit 39 to win this match? Seven leaves double 16. Can he get through? Game shot. Yes, he can. And Top man, corner. Andrew. It was not pretty in the slightest. These runs at Eurotour events, whilst they don't cover it, they certainly make that blow a little better. First point of the finger from the ferret, but it might all be in vain. 88. Over to the 18s, that leaves double seven. Michael Smith goes inside. Leaves a very awkward checkout if he comes back. Two darts at double 12. Ooh, that was a way inside. That was perfect though. Johnny Clay does lead by two legs to nil. And already, Bully Boy is in a bit of trouble on his return to the European Tour stage. Yeah, earlier on in the evening, they were practicing in a bit of a group. You've got. Uh, these two, Joe Cullen, Nathan Aspinall, Dimitri Vandenberg, well, all having a laugh and a joke. At the moment, Johnny's going to be the only one laughing. Now, he has left the bogey number, but that's not a miscount. It's all he could have left. Well, and Michael Smith responds. Did Johnny Clayton notice that? Yeah. Oh, and number 34, Michael requires 78. Who does a double 12 only needs the one? Is a 14 darter. And there's the ferret finger. from Bully Boy there. Johnny Clayton. 97. Michael requires 72. It's pretty nicely placed to pounce if Michael Smith can't take care of this. 32. Which he doesn't. And he requires 74. Kind of finishes in Johnny Clayton's wheelhouse. One dart at double top, and he breaks the throw. No ferret finger point, but a fist pump. Boarded with a nice basket of biscuits in Belgium. Well, so good that I think he's already entered the Premier League chat in September. I am here for that. Six. Not a great deal Michael Smith can do here. Johnny require 101. Forty-nine. Like we require one hundred and sixty. One sixty then for Michael Smith. That is nowhere near. 7 well, Michael Smith celebrated his birthday this week, and it's not a particularly happy one. I don't remember the last time I saw him with a scoring visit of seven, and Johnny Clayton duly punishes him in the battle of the elite talent in darts in round one of the European Tour.